Hello everyone, this is a free to back again. It's another edition of what's on Kickstarter. We'll do separate videos for both because there's always so much to talk about. That it would be like well over an hour long if I did everything in one video. Um, one thing to note, as you can see yesterday, I posted a couple of Kickstarter Hall of Fame videos. Inducting Stockholm 17 and Vanda into my Kickstarter Hall of Fame. Because not only do I... Do I uh, like to say with everyone, Kickstarters who are scammers and thieves and jerks, but I also like to say with you creators who I think are wonderful and uh, good creators and respectable and reliable creators. So anyways, let's get on with what's on Kickstarter this week. First, we'll recap, as usual, the ongoing projects. Chow from NPC Make Point Cards is well funded, 16 days to go. They look very beautiful. Uh, there's a nice gold going available now as well. Obviously, Chinese Dynasty themed Imperial decks. Two different colors. Um, it's nice to see something brand new from NPC because up until now, all their projects have been different variations of their standard deck with their impressions, uh, you know, finish, if you will. So it's nice to see something different. Also, it's going to supposedly have new kind of stock and finish combos, so I look forward to checking that out and seeing if it's how good it is. Uh, then we have Goddess Volume 2 Point Cards by House of Heart Soul. Yet another project from these people. It's funded 54 hours to go. I think it was a pretty short project. I don't recall if it was here last week or not. Uh, that's the back design that says Goddess on it that's pretty horrible <laughs> um it's you know it is what it is i don't think it's something that most of my viewers would be interested so you know something that i'm overly interested in and if i go that low <laughs> it's pretty horrible if you can't fund a deck with a decent amount goal then you should just move on moving on timber point cards by gw cards is 50 percent funded nine days to go i don't see it funny it's just not that eye-catching or appealing, in my opinion. Um, not sure why it has the Kickstarter logo. I might have mentioned that last week, actually. But now I think of it, but I, I just think the creator put that on there to try and help himself out. But I don't think that Kickstarter is promoting that project at all because it's pretty horrible. <laughs> then we got Country Woodland Roots Man Point Cards by Jennifer Hammerstrom. Je uh, Jennifer. Janelle Hammerstrom. I apologize, Janelle. <laughs> Janelle Hammerstrom. It is funded 21 days ago. Pretty low goal. Pretty interesting looking deck. I mean, definitely A plus for effort and creativity. Moon Phases Point Cards by Perpetual Arts and Design Company is now funded 14 days to go. Thumbs up. I do like that one. Worth checking out. Cardillion. Luxury Point Cards by Trickle Idea is not going to fund because it had like a $45,000 goal, which I really don't understand how they came up with that goal or how they thought that was reasonable or rational or realistic. But it's not going to fund as a result, despite having almost $12,000 now in funding. It just goes to show you that the goal is just unrealistic. Three days to go, not going to happen. And we got another one of these silly decks. We're not even going to look at it. Luxura, Julie Strain Point Cards, is also apparently a video and photo book, oh good, by Kirk Lindo, it is funded, pretty low goal, six days to go, pretty short project campaign as well since it was not here last week, um, and it's based on some comic book of his, really could care less, I think it's ridiculous how many of these we see, these sexy women decks on Kickstarter with such low, mediocre goals. It's ridiculous, really embarrassing. Wonderful Wizard of Oz Illustrated Point Cards by John Mazuka is 9% funded, 20 days ago. It's just not going to happen at this rate. It does not have enough steam or support. He did not res still has not responded to a message that sent him about the indexes being in the wrong corners for my liking and also not showing us the back design. A super important part of any project. Especially for a new creator. You gotta source what you're selling. Mono X by Luke Whitey is funded. 
They had to spit. I apologize. It is funded with uh, eight days to go. It's an interesting deck. Lacks a little bit of color and pizzazz for my liking, if you will. The Water Margin Point Cards by Paul Gu. I probably butchered that. It's funded with 17 days to go. Again, A for effort. Interesting idea. Not really sure about the back design, but nice bright colors on the faces. I'm also not sure about who's printing it, so yeah. I'll pass on that. That's a new one of sorts. Black Trauma Point Cards by Tenchu's Factory is fairly well funded. Six days to go. Really not my cup of tea. And I really don't see why a cardist or a magician would like it, but maybe that's just me. Geometric Point Cards by Dad is 55% funded. 12 days to go. Not liking the chances, but it's got a pretty low goal, so it might still happen. Vice Point Cards by Jared Hall is funded. 14 days to go. Obviously Miami inspired. Uh, it's an okay deck. Not really my cup of tea. The bicycle in the Dissert Girl Falcon Point Cards by Collectible Point Cards is well funded. 14 minutes to go by the time this video is up. It will be done, so if you missed out, you'll have to wait until it's on some project. I mean, uh, on some, uh, on their website or some other website. Around the World by Paul Levine. 10% funded, 21 days to go. It's just not going to happen. And I've seen, I haven't seen too many people that are huge fans of it, at least on the forum. The reaction was not great and totally understandable. It's, it's a little bit out there. It's, I don't think too many people are interested in a deck that has to do with stamps and stamp collecting, but it is what it is. Aesthetic point, and also it doesn't help that he has not mentioned who is printing this or anything like that. That would be a big help, I'm sure. Aesthetic point cards by Tyler Arca, still only 62% funded, three days to go. Hey, it may still fund, it's got an incredibly low goal, but I think it's very telling how bad it is that it has not funded with, what, a $100 goal, or whatever it is, $99 goal. That's absolutely horrible. <laughs> The uh, limited edition Zorchi's design by Newt's Games is 52% funded, 8 days to go. Still has not funded, uh, despite, you know, a fairly low goal. What is that, $1,600, $1,500 for a goal? I want to see something very quickly. I don't care about who they backed. I want to see. Come on, really? I want to see what they created. Because... I'm curious, because I know this is a relaunch, the previous project had 1,014 Canadian, please, I mean uh, American, please, here, 1,014 out of a $4,850 goal, alright, and the new one, the relaunch has $845 out of a $1,600 goal, so they have a goal that is still higher than what they achieved in the last project. They also have, here's the thing, the last project they had a couple of different variations. In this one, they just have the one variation as far as I know. Just the deck. The goal is still higher than what they had last time. And they have less funding than they had last time. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. It's not looking too good. Uh, top Aces of World War II by Jody Eklund, also another variation of the World War One, which I just got the original versions, and they're pretty nice looking. It is well funded, or it's funded, 18 days to go. It's about 25,000 bucks. Nixie Playing Cards by Isaac Inc. is funded, 31 days to go, very long campaign there. Raven, Soul and Manny plus the Eclipse, which you can get free by getting that Dual set, you get the dual set, and you get a free Eclipse deck. That's the only way you can get the Eclipse deck. You cannot add it on. You can just get it by getting the set, and you get one for each set. So you get a dozen sets, you get a dozen Eclipses. Uh, if you get a brick, you get four of each. Uh, so, I mean, there's a, diff a couple different ways of getting the deck, but you cannot add it on individually. Uh, of course, that's by Raising Magic. It's well funded, 10 days to go. Thumbs up, another great creator. Definitely worth checking out, definitely recommend it. Little Dictator, it's not even worry about it. 3% funded, 5 days to go. Not gonna happen. Go figure. 
Uh, Magnum Force, which sounds like a uh, title for Power Rangers. Power Rangers Magnum Force. <laughs> it's going to happen one day, I'm sure. Ford by Ford's Arts is funded four hours to go. Make sure to check it out if you want to get it. Metropole Next Deck by Michael Lambert is 69% funded, 10 days to go. I think it may still make it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Joker and the Thief, uh, second edition by Joker and the Thief, obviously, is funded, 9 hours to go. Time running out on that one as well, but I'm sure all these decks will be available afterwards. I'm not too concerned about getting it right now, myself. Uh, the Planet's Neptune Playing Cards, the last one in the series by David Goldclank, who I just inducted into my Kickstarter Hall of Fame, is 1,000% funded, 7 days to go. Well funded, it's the last one, it's your last opportunity to get, you know, the whole set as well if you want. And, they added on another deck, which I did not see coming, somehow. It is, check out these faces, of course they gave them, uh, water type uh, characters for the court cards. That's, I guess, a water planet. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. The Pluto deck. It's a mini deck. It comes with a mini carrot case. It is 20 bucks uh, in the U.S. and a couple bucks more outside the U.S. It's a little bit pricey. It's actually more money than just a regular uh, Neptune deck, which is kind of ridiculous. But it does come with the carrot case. And I think it's a nice little add-on. It's the planet that everyone seems to ignore that They've decided not to call a planet. Now I believe they're calling it a planet again. They can't make up their minds. It's the ninth planet. Let's just call it what it is. It's the ninth planet. It's a planet. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. It's still a planet. Oh, look at that poker tips. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I'm tempted <laughs> to get that poker chip set, but I don't think that I will. And there's a couple things. One is unlocking on the 11th. The anniversary of 9-11, to be exact. And the other one on the 13th, whatever those are. I don't know, but we'll find out by next week or next video. I'll let you know if it's anything major. Nice coin. There's the Pluto Mini. Very cool. The Mini deck is... Excuse me. Man, this always happens to me. The uh, mini Pluto deck, look at those court cards, very nice. Of course, it's completely different, art book and everything. And it's been put by NPC with a uh, beautiful Tuckus. And um, it's going to have the, I think it's going to have the impressions finished to them. Moving on, we got the Red Roses playing cards by Daniel Snyder. It is well funded. 15 days to go, not a huge surprise, beautiful deck, and one I'll look to get later on. Caribbean Wind Playing Cards by SVI Group is also funded, 18 days to go. They still have not hit the stretch goal for the limited edition deck that I believe everyone is supposed to get for free. Um, Delusion Playing Cards by Tadjik Gomez. As some people have said the guy's delusion it to think that this design is actually good. I might not disagree with that. It is 56% funded, 36 days to go. It, it looks like it may make it. Maybe. We'll see what happens. By only playing cards by Luke's design. However, not doing so well. 10% funded, 21 days to go. It is not looking too good. Don't think it's going to happen. The sexist U.S. military deck of cards by U.S. Millpin is 53% funded, 12 days to go. It's not going to happen. Because it's got such a high goal, I mean, to look at that, 53% funded, and it's only $8,500 pledged. I mean, that, it's $8,500 pledged, but it's only 53% funded. That's way too high of a goal, in my opinion. It should be produced and funded. If you got decks that are being funded and produced with $500, $100,000 goals, there's no reason why this one should not be produced with that much money. It's just got too high of a goal. Um... We'll pass on that tarot deck. Cubed. Playing cards, cube 3D, whatever it is technically, by Revolution Decks. Not that revolutionary, apparently. Only 36% funded, 20 days to go. And then we got the last one, the Bicycle Explode Star Playing Cards by Collectible Playing Cards, which is 97% funded, 20 days to go. It's, it's going to find it just a matter, matter of one or two pledges, and it will be funded, I'm sure. Um, 
they're no longer calling it the Bicycle Cardistry Expo Store because of DeVoe complaining about them using the Bicycle Cardistry name and saying he owns the rights to it and blah blah blah. <sighs> right. <laughs> um, let's look at what is new this week. Let's go right back up to the top. Without looking at these sexy women things. <laughs> um, Oh yes, Van Bolton Mystical Creatures Art Playing Cards by Oscar Ray. This is a relaunch. It is funded 22 days to go. Obviously a much lower goal than before. Hmm. I, I was not a fan of these before. I'm still not a fan of them, unfortunately. It's inspired by illustrations uh, done by Arnold Van Bolton, a Dutch artist born in 1573, who I'm not familiar with. I mean, it's not Van Gogh we're talking about, it's Van Bolton. Who ever heard of Van Bolton? Three different decks, apparently. The Brass, the Classic, and the Papyrus. That's cool enough. But, here's the thing, and I, I'll mention this in a minute. You see three different colors. See, that's the problem for me with this one, is there's three different decks. That's not, uh, that's a horrible back design, in my opinion. Let's, let's look at the higher resolution. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's not uh, not a great back design in my opinion. That's just my opinion. You might think differently. As far as the court cards are concerned, very interesting. They're okay, but here's my problem with projects like this: is having multiple different decks, but they're just different color variations. And wait, the the brass one has this color for the backs, this color for the faces. It's a black face with like a brass colored back. The Papyrus has a brown back, the Classic has a blue back, and they're borderless. Yeah, okay. Um, it's interesting. But for me, uh, the problem is, they've, they've put effort into it, but they've only designed one deck, and then they've recolored it twice. So far, they might do even more color variations, for all we know. It's not that appealing to me. Not really my type of deck or style. Um, I, I much prefer, you know, other creators who actually don't just recolor the decks. I mean, you could do a whole project with six different recolored decks if you want to. But other creators can do two or three decks, and they actually make changes from one deck to the other. They modify them. They don't just recolor them. And I think... It's getting a little bit lame to just have multiple recolor decks in one project. Anyway, and I'm not even sure who's producing them. I didn't even check. We can double check that in case you're interested. <sighs> Let me just see. And here's another problem I have, is that the creator is basically just using the guy's actual illustrations that are in the public domain and using them for himself. So he's not even, it's not like he's actually drawn this stuff. He's basically just copying and pasting, in my opinion, which is not cool. I mean, he might have taken some creative liberty or some of them, modified them, improved them, touched them up. But still, basically, he's just copied and pasted stuff. Not cool, in my opinion. Basically, making money off somebody else's work. Um, being shipped, free shipping worldwide with the tracking numbers sent through Spanish Postal Company. Wow. 250 bucks, 250 euros. For 36 decks. Why would anyone want 36 decks? I don't know, but there it is. They got stretch goals, blank cards, jokers, double backers, an art book, another jack of spades. Okay. And they're being printed by Carter Munde, so that's cool. Alright, moving on to something hopefully better than that. <laughs> um, to say, And, oh yes, definitely better than that. 
I, I do have a mighty concern with this one, but this is a blue ribbon, 323 rosette back reprint in red and blue by Ethan Friday. It is funded, 16 days to go. I assume this has been approved by the USBC. It is a little bit pricey when you factor in shipping for me. It's costing me 12 bucks to ship to Dexter Canada, but it's not a horrible shipping rate. It's a nice classic deck. I do have these in my collection. Pretty sure they're both red and blue. You can find them on eBay if you want. Pretty sure you can still find them on eBay or other websites even. Um, it's nice to see them being reprinted. The blue ribbon branded decks and the rosette backs. My concern is, um, and I like that he's touched it up, so I know he's put in some effort. I do like the thinner borders and nice line work. I like that he's touched it up, worked on it. He's actually going to have it say Cincinnati, Ohio on the Ace of Spades in the front of the tuck case, which is cool. A little bit deceiving, deceptive for sure, but cool, I guess. Um, my concern is this is a creator I'm not familiar with. It's his first project. So it's a little risky. And also, it is not confirmed whether or not this has been approved by the USBC. I'm not sure if USBC, but I, I assume USBC would allow it to be produced as with other vintage reprints that we've seen. Uh, my other concern is where he says, Where he says down here, his biggest challenge will be shipping these decks out quickly because it's just me and perhaps a friend here and there. It's just me. And he has a full time job and will be doing this in his off hours. Blah, blah, blah. My concern is why not get a fulfillment company to do it? I don't want to cost a bit, but they'll be a little bit more reliable. I've had too many bad experiences with creators who fulfill it themselves and then they don't they get tired of doing it they um, you know they give up on it they run out of money to do it all sorts of issues and then I don't see my deck so there's a bit of a concern there for me but it looks pretty cool and definitely be interested in this reprint so Definitely, you know, worth while getting a shot. They still have early birds left. Eight bucks each. It's 12 bucks for... Actually, I'm um, sorry, not 12 bucks. It's 20 bucks for two. They ran out of early birds of the two decks, I guess. Actually... Yeah, they ran out of early birds of the two decks, I believe. No, actually, sorry. That's why I pledged for 16 bucks for two. They still have those available. Lots of them available, so if you want to get a set, it's still worthwhile uh, going forward. It's still time. It is funded, well funded, so hopefully all goes good. <laughs> um, and then we got the Angelology playing cards by Emmanuel Valtiera. And actually, I'll be right back. Alright, anyways, as I said, we're going to do this. It's the Angelology playing cards. From Emmanuel Voltaire, it is 72% funded, 39 days to go, pretty long project campaign. And I want to show you, we'll look at it. This deck right here, it's the Angel of it's his first blue back deck, actually, if I recall correctly, because I think all the decks he's done before have been red backed. <laughs> the Mayan decks and all the, the Egyptian deck, and there was a, I think there was a Greek deck, all sorts of different decks from different uh, cultures. So this is the first one he's done that's not a red back deck, it's a blue back, and it is the follow-up to this deck, the Demonology, which I just got the other day, ordered it through, uh, as you can see it's a very similar, well, somewhat similar back design, um, just got it the other day, it's some pretty weird artwork on the court cards and the aces, review coming. You can uh, obviously pick this up on his previous project, but this is the follow-up to it. First one is a demon deck. This one is the angel deck. Once again, put it by Legends. Inspired by old books and manuscripts. 
Very interesting angelic artwork on this one. They're all angels. Custom pips and uh, obviously a weathered, dirty look to the faces. Uh, I would, if they have less than 700 decks, they will be printed on MPC. If they have over 700, they will be, they'll be printed by Legends. I don't know how he, he would expect to sell 700 decks in a Kickstarter project, but you never know. A few companies buy grosses. You can get that. There's the Demonology one. He still has some available. So, whether it gets printed by NPC or Legends is still a question. Uh, you can actually, actually, they, they ran out of that one. He's also got dice. It's 10 bucks for a deck, that's a great price. 9 bucks for a dice. Three pairs of dice. You should just gift them to me. <laughs> um, estimated delivery is next year. I can wait. I just got this one. I'm not in a rush to get the sequel. I can get it, you know, next year, whenever it comes out. Assuming, assuming it makes its way to retailers like, or to, to websites, magic sites like this one, they don't play card decks. Pretty nice deck though. I like it. Worth checking out. Moving along, we got the Ghoul Guys. Speaking of playing card decks, the Ghoul Guys by Will Roya, PlayingCardDecks.com. Uh, very interesting design. <laughs> The Ghoul Guys playing cards. It's just a little bit weird. <laughs> it is funded. Not the biggest goal, but that's okay. Um, this is the designer. It's Eliza Hales. Hales. As in the son of Sam Hales, who designed... Well, he actually most recently designed the Bicycle Knight, Knights deck. And did he also do the Bicycle Monsters deck? For I know he did the Bicycle Knights deck at the very least. For playing card decks, he also did when I got not too long ago for Spill Card and Shop, which was the uh, the uh, Zodiac. No, not the Zodiac. Oh, what the hell is it called? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but the one for Spill Card and Shop, which was um, wasn't this, uh, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> the Voodoo deck. That's what it was. He designed the Voodoo deck. He also designed all the Carnival decks. So this is his son. His son designed this deck, so I think that's pretty cool. It's nice to see him following as far as footsteps. Put it by USB-Z to this one. Cut. Ericus and Finnis. Get some Jokers and Gaff cards. Um, graphic design by Sam Hales. Approximately a thousand decks being produced. Bicycle branded deck unlocked at $6,000. Custom seals at twelve thousand dollars. I don't think that's going to happen. See the court cards; they're a little bit strange. <laughs> uh, obviously designed by a kid. It definitely looks like it was designed by a kid. But at least in this case, it was designed by a kid because we've seen many decks. I've seen many decks that were designed by adults that look like this. <laughs> um, yeah, they're pretty strange. I'm not sure if it's really my cup of tea. But hey, who wants to sell one my way to review? I'll definitely. We'll do that. There's your back design. Mirror image. It's pretty unique. <laughs> um, it's a fun deck. I see that somebody got a prototype. That wasn't me. I don't know why it is that I don't get prototypes. Just saying. Um, and what is this? It's an alternate color of the back design. A different color. Is this the bicycle branded one? I guess that's going to be a different color. So that's interesting. Um, I mean, I think it's cool. 11 year old designer following his father's footsteps. And it's a deck that I might look at later on. We'll see. It's pretty unique. Weird. <laughs> but then again, a lot of his father's decks are a little bit weird, too. Anyway, um, pretty cool nonetheless. Good job, kid. Moving on. Anything else new? Oh, yeah, we'll talk about this. Why not? A leather wrap of playing cards. Flag envelope designs by Fool's Gold. 0% funded. Wow. 27 days to go. Yeah. It's not going to fund. First of all, they're not leather wraps. The card clips or pouches, maybe, if you want it. The technical. Aha. Uh -huh. it's, it's a leather thing that you wrap around your deck of cards to protect. That's basically a card clip. It's a little bit weird. 
Why not just get a belt and wrap it around your deck of cards instead? And <laughs> tie it with an elastic band, I don't know. It's an interesting idea, I guess. Different colors. You can customize them with different fonts and writing, apparently. 25 bucks US for one. Aha. It's actually had a different project before. I'm kind of curious what that is. College student. Nope. Had by. Oh, he's already tried this one before and it fails. So now he's doing it again. I don't get what he, what he means. Flag design. What flag? I don't see any flag designs in these. But he already tried this. Actually, it was uh, in. It was a month ago. A couple of weeks ago, actually. And it was canceled on the 15th. And now he's relaunched it. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll move on. There is one more to talk about here. It's the new Dreamers deck from Card Experiment, already well funded, 24 days to go. Let me just double check if there's anything else. Mm, not really, no. Dreamers playing cards from Card Experiment. They've unlocked the Crust B stock for a stretch goal, that's good. Currently two different variations, a limited edition deluxe edition and a bicycle branded edition, which is the one I pledged for. It's a nice purple color. This is the follow-up to a previous deck. Um, so you got this one, a bicycle branded one by USB Super Metallic Inks and the deluxe edition, which comes on a Tuck case by Clove Street Press with purple foil on pearl paper stock. That sounds pretty nice, but I'll stick with a bicycle branded deck, personally. It's also much cheaper. The additional cut, Magic Finish. Very nicely done. Crest B stock. Oh, yes. It's, this is the sequel or follow-up to the Explorers and Domination decks that they did previously. It's the Dreamers this time. Explorers, Domination Dreamers. <laughs> um, very interesting court cards, as you can see. Very colorful. Yeah, they're pretty interesting. Pretty colorful. Vibrant. Nice purple bat design. There's Cold Street Press. There is a stretch goal. It's actually not too bad. Thirteen dollars US for the uh, deluxe edition, but twenty nine bucks for the standard bicycle branded edition. I'll take that. There is a stretch goal for this, a Dreamers Persona, which uh, will both come in a standard and deluxe edition. Um, with platinum foil on black stock. That sounds pretty interesting. Magic Fittest traditionally cut. I'll be right with you. <laughs> That's the oven. Um, well, it means I need to turn off the oven. Um, it looks very interesting. I'm not sure how this deck would look with black colors. I don't know if it's just going to be a black back with the same bright colored faces. I'm not really looking the look of this Tuckus in the image, but it is just a mock up. I should have real thing. It looked a lot better and shinier and sexier. Uh, I wonder if the standard one's going to be bicycle branded as well. That would be cool. Still pretty nice decks worth checking out. Especially if you got the previous ones. And that is that for Kickstarter this week. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned. We'll look at other stuff coming up in the world of playing cards.